Hey action fans, it's Vanessa Bontea. I am back for another year at the Urban Action Showcase and Expo, and this year is our 10th anniversary, and we are back in person. I'm so happy to be here. I'll be talking to some filmmakers all throughout the night, and uh, let's see what we have in store for you this year. All right, we'll start on this side. Um, tell us your name, the name of the project, and your role in it. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jose Rodriguez. The name of the project is Bronx River, and I play Vinny. Uh, I am the defender of the block, and um, it's, it's, it's awesome to be in the park. Cool. My name is Brandon Robinson. I play Dominic Williams. I'm the kingpin in the movie. Okay, nice. Hi, my name is Richard Troche. I'm the creator of Bronx River. Hi, my name is Erika Lara Cuente. I play Mousy, and I'm the start of the trouble. My name is Alyssa Cardoso, and I play Mousy's girlfriend. Very nice. How did you come up with the concept? So um, this concept came up a couple of years ago while I was going to school um, at Gotham's Writers Workshop. And um, it's, the project is about a couple of kids from the South Bronx in 1979. Um, things go away during Christmas Eve, and um, their lives change forever. So you have to watch the film if you want to see the rest. OK, great. And we're screening it here. Um, what was your favorite moment about collaborating with this group? Um, honestly, it was just the camaraderie, the chemistry that we had with one another. You know, like we didn't know anybody. Nobody knew anybody. And you know, once we got in front of the camera, once we read the script and everything, everything came along um, pretty well. And then you got to meet people and it like, kind of all became family after. So it's good to you know, come together and actually um, you know, celebrate this accomplishment. Cool. So as defender of the block, what kind of training do you have to do to defend the block? Well, um, just you know, making sure that um, they have the love and the support from the character, um, making sure that you know what at the end of the day they're always going to have someone that they can look up to. Um, also, working with them was just fascinating because to know that you have other people within the same creativity with you, you guys are just always going to elevate, and it's just so awesome to see someone just like you in the creativity mindset. So, I love that. And uh, as your character, what is something that you love about the character of Mousy? So something I really love about Mousy is that Mousy, she, she does what she wants and, you know, she gets judged because she wants to be a tomboy and it takes place in 1979 and, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't good to be a tomboy then, but Mousy didn't care. I love that. I love that. And lastly, before we wrap it up, what were some of your favorite moments or uh, about playing your character? I think my favorite moments would definitely be working with Mousy and how she's such a sweet person in real life, but the character is such a vicious character. And me being the girlfriend, I kind of just try to keep her cool and keep her calm and get her out of situations that could get her into more trouble than she might already be in. Oh, I love that. I love that. Well, thank you guys for being here. Um, we're all heading into the award show right now, so congratulations and good luck. Thank you so much. And then they just, you guys want to take a photo? Yes. Okay, great. Tell us your name, the name of your project, um, and your role in it. Hi, uh, my name is Mark Cabaret. My project is named Buzzkill. We'll be in Theater 10 tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Um, it's about, um, I guess it's a, it's a horror comedy. And uh, what was your role in it? I directed, I wrote and directed it. Oh nice, where did you come up with the concept or what motivated you with this idea? I had always wanted to do something like this. It's sort of a loose premise of what if Cheech and Chong were in a horror comedy film, like Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. I love that idea. Uh, that must have been really fun writing too. It was, it was great. It was an idea I had for a long time and I couldn't put it together because I couldn't quite find the right actors. And actually I met some of them here at Urban Action a couple of years ago and I said, wow, these guys are great. And I wound up casting them in that and we, we did it. Awesome. What were some of your favorite moments in the whole uh, collaborative process with everyone? I think it's always sort of, I love actors. I like working with them. I love discovery and, and how they find things. So I actually like the physical nuts and bolts of directing on set. That's my favorite part. You know, it's also the most terrifying because you're under a schedule crunch. But it's my favorite part. It's when you're really getting in there and you feel like you're really, you know, making the film. Great, great. Well, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations and good luck in the festival. Thank you. We are starting right now. <laughs> you want your